more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today, I want to go over with you a better way to position your laptop while at home or at work to prevent yourself from having pain or an injury. Because many people, while they're at their laptop, they have their laptop positioned beneath them. So they have to look down to see what they're doing. And the problem with that is that picture your head and your neck as being like a bowling ball resting on top of a stick. If the bowling ball is resting directly on top of the stick, then the weight of it is more evenly distributed. The stick doesn't have to work as hard. But say the bowling ball shifts itself forward. Now that more stress is being placed on the stick to hold the bowling ball, it can bend. And it's the same way with your head and your neck. If you're in good posture, you're, you're upright, your neck doesn't have to work as hard to support your head. But say you're looking down like this, your head is forward. Now your neck has to work harder to support the weight of your head. And that done over time can cause muscle problems, tendon problems, ligament problems, nerve problems. It can lead to neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. It could lead to nerve pain traveling all the way down your hands. It could lead to your cervical spine degenerating faster. It can lead to many problems that you don't want. So it's good to practice good laptop ergonomics, which is basically positioning the laptop in a way that it fits the design of your body, not the other way around where you're contorting your body in such a way that you're fitting the design of the laptop. You're looking down and typing like this. So let me show you a better way. So guys, look at how my laptop is positioned. It's up upon a platform. So now I can look straight ahead and be completely comfortable. I don't have to look down at it. And this is much better. This is ergonomically correct. I'm positioning the laptop so that it fits the design of my body. I'm not fitting my body to the design of the laptop. And as you can see here, I have my keyboard down here, I have a separate keyboard to type on, and I have a separate mouse to use. So, this works out much better, me having this platform up here, right over there. So, just think about that, keep that into consideration, hopefully you take this advice and put it to use. Alright guys, hopefully you found that advice useful. This has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. You know what to do now, if you like the video, please thumb it up. Comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon.